Hi, and welcome to Program with Pax. My name is Paxton, and I love breaking down complex web development topics and teaching it in a really approachable way. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to become a front-end web developer, what you need to learn, how long it'll take, and also a bunch of resources to get you there. This video is really for somebody that's just getting started, ready to take the first leap, and is really just looking for a roadmap to move forward. Let's get started. So, what is front-end web development? It is using code to create the visual part of a website. The content, the styling and positioning, as well as the logic. That's front end. On the other side, you have back end. That is everything to do with networking and the database. That's on the other end, the things that you, you don't see. Now, there are a couple different ways of learning web development. The first is a degree through either a university or college. This offers strong foundational knowledge in computer science, which can be very helpful, especially in certain areas of programming. However, in my experience, this understanding of computer science is not necessary in order to get your first web development job, and you can learn all of the theory and nitty gritty details of computers while on the job. Additionally, Getting a degree is also a very long process, so three to four years. It's also extremely expensive, and the majority of it won't be focused on web development. Next, you have boot camps. Those are usually three to four months of intensive learning. It offers really great structure, and it forces you to be fully immersed, but again, it's expensive, and you have to be full-time. You can't just take a couple hours per day. Finally, they're self-taught, what the focus of this video is. This route offers a flexible schedule and it's inexpensive. And as long as you have the right set of online courses and curriculum set up for you, I believe it's the best option. Getting your first web development job is not about what certificate or degree you have. In most cases, it is a meritocracy. That is, if you have the skills to do the job, you can get the job. So how long does it take to become job ready? I would say that it takes between three and 12 months. What you'll wanna do is create a time frame that you're comfortable with dedicating towards learning this, whether it's three, six, or 12 months, and create a schedule around it. That way you can hold yourself accountable for it. So if you set a date for completing a certain course or starting to apply for jobs, you'll know. Whether it is three months or 12 months, you'll need to learn the same amount of content. The only thing that changes is how much time you're spending each day. So if it's three months, then maybe you'll be having to do 10 to 12 hours per day. And if it's 12 months, maybe only two hours a day. The key is consistency. You need to be coding daily. It's also really important to stick to one programming language based on the job that you're trying to get. So there are a lot of awesome languages out there and you'll get to them in time, but don't get distracted. If your objective is to try and get a front end position as quickly as possible, then it's really important that you focus on the core front end technologies. You don't wanna be a jack of all trades and a master of none. You really need vertical proficiency not horizontal, and you get that by practicing that one thing daily. You may be asking, why start with front end? I would recommend front end because you get instant visual feedback, more so than just an error in the console. When learning HTML and CSS, you're able to see if the positioning of your content isn't right. And also if you click on a button, the expected result doesn't happen. I found this to be a really enjoyable way of learning web development and in turn it became really rewarding and there's a positive reinforcement loop that happens. So what do you have to learn? The first thing you're going to need to learn is HTML. That's the content, the text, images, links of your website. Then CSS, the styling, 
colors, positioning, and responsiveness on mobile. And then JavaScript, that's the logic of your website. When you click a submit button, what happens? Once you've learned those three and have a strong foundation in JavaScript, then you'll be at a crossroads, React, Angular, or Vue. These are JavaScript libraries and frameworks which act as wrappers around vanilla JavaScript, giving you additional functionality that would take longer to code otherwise. It's important that the first thing you do before getting too deep into one of these is to look on job websites such as LinkedIn, Glassdoor, or Indeed, and ensure that there are a lot of jobs for all of these in your area. Search for titles including front-end developer, uh, front-end engineer, as well as the words Angular, Vue, and React, and see how many listings there are. If there's more of one of these technologies in your area, it might be better to learn that one. You'll likely find many of each. Personally, I would recommend React, as it's a lot easier to learn than a full framework and there are usually a ton of jobs out there. Yes, that means more competition, but if you hammer out the fundamentals and have a strong portfolio, you will get a job. That said, I work with Angular every day and absolutely love it, though it has a steeper learning curve, so be warned. As a bonus, I would also recommend looking into TypeScript and Redux. In JavaScript, you don't have to say that variable x is a number, it will infer that x equals five is a number type. This, however, can sometimes lead to hard to catch bugs. TypeScript is still JavaScript, but it allows you to add strong typing to your application, where you define that variable x will be a number. Redux is a state management library. Angular, React, and Vue all have their own variations of it. When your application gets bigger and there are lots of different parts with their own data, Redux acts as a centralized memory for all of your different UI components to read from. It acts as a single source of truth so that everything stays organized. You'll also need to be familiar with Git, which is a version control technology. It allows you to save your app at a specific point and revert back if necessary, as well as share your code online and work with other developers. It would also be really helpful if you knew SAS, which is an extension of CSS, it's still CSS, but it has some extra tools and can be a really big time saver. Along the way, you're also gonna have to pick up basic terminal commands, be familiar with using NPM packages, as well as the build tool Webpack. It would also be really helpful if you knew just the basics of agile methodology. This is what a lot of development teams use and a hiring manager will definitely take note of that. So what resources can you use to learn all of this? I would say that between Udemy and YouTube, you can really learn everything required. I'm going to leave a pinned comment down below, which has a list of Udemy courses that I would strongly recommend you take a look at. Each of them are around $15, 20 to 40 hours worth of really high quality content, and the instructors are awesome. I don't make any money on this, I'm not affiliated with them, I just know that they're awesome courses and they'll teach you exactly what you need to know. If you're looking for a free resource to learn JavaScript, I'd highly recommend looking at Eloquent JavaScript. It's a fantastic book that is also available online for free. Their website has a bunch of great projects and it'll really teach you the foundation that you need. I really like their embedded code sections. It's really interactive. After that, it's all about making your own projects. I'll leave a list to a bunch of free APIs that you can tap into. These APIs are data providers. So let's say if you wanted to build a weather app, you can grab all this data and then on your front end, on your UI, you can display it all. You can build an entire project around any of these APIs. It'll be really helpful. Once you've completed a few projects, it's all about getting your first job. I'm gonna create videos on each of these points because they deserve a video of their own. In short, you'll need to have a great resume which highlights your love of web development while also emphasizing how all of your previous job experiences has guided you towards this new career path. Next, you'll need to build out a portfolio website which highlights the projects you've built and the skills you have. 
You can host your portfolio and projects for free on GitHub pages. You could also consider doing one or two freelance jobs, even if it's just for friends or family, where you're working for a real client with a real deadline. This will be good practice for you and will show your future employer that someone has already trusted you and that you delivered. Finally, you'll need to familiarize yourself with LinkedIn, Indeed, and Glassdoor and apply for three to five jobs per day. I did this for an entire month, had a few interviews, and then landed my first job. It can take a few weeks or a few months. Eventually, you'll get your first opportunity. Getting your first job is the most difficult. Once you've worked somewhere and have some experience, finding your next job will be a lot easier. On a final note, learning code is not easy. There will be roadblocks and it can be a real grind to learn everything. Just know that the path that you're on is worth it and it can get you to a place in your life that you really want to be. Whether it's with career satisfaction or the ability to work anywhere in the world remotely or financial freedom. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like. It really helps the channel out. And subscribe for more content just like it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one.